All right, YouTube. It's been raining the last couple of days. We can get started on this rim. Oh, uh, I did go ahead and done the tanks or this tank. Oh, uh, cleaned it up. Clean that up as well. Oh. Uh, It ain't perfect, perfect on that. That a little harder, but we're fixing to get started on this front rim. Sorry I didn't video. Oh, I'm just trying to get this stuff done. We're gonna try to set you up to where you can watch somewhat of me doing this. Oh, I don't know how well this is gonna go. But we are going to try it. and see what we get. dust off of it. Before I do though. Oh yeah, y'all still recording? Alright, oh I don't know how much of that y'all got. Now y'all seen it before. There's some of the nicks I was talking about. Them nicks are, are hard to get out because they're so beat up. I mean, some people would sit there and, and sand and sand until they get it out. To me, that wears the rim out even faster. But uh, it's what it is. Before I buff it, that's what a little bit of sanding does. So I'll get back with you here in a minute. Okay, now let's get started on this buffing. Let's see if we can set y'all back up. I didn't think y'all could hear me, but assuming y'all can. And I should have done it with the sanding, but I didn't. Oh. We can get black. <laughs> Buffing always makes you black. Oh. Ain't nothing it won't wash off though. When you, especially when you use a buffer. It's gonna throw a lot of junk on you. And in your face. A lot worse than sanding does, so I at least like to put these on so I don't get it in my eyes. And use brown. Brown. Remember how I do this here? Here we go.
All right, there's first coat of buffing. Let's see if y'all still recording. Yep. And see the difference? Man, ain't that a big difference from, from the way it looked a while ago. Which, that's just the first coat. I've got a green bar that's next. Oh, uh, and that's as far as I'm going to go. And then I got some polish that's going to keep it up, you know, cure it and everything. This is what it looked like before. So, I know this may be a boring video, but I said I'd start making more videos. You can actually see the blue in it. I mean, you can, she come right out just by sanding just a little bit. It does a great job. I mean, yeah, right in here it don't. Cause you really gotta work it, uh, but I plan on covering the lug nuts up, uh, with me a little bling on it there, you know, as they say. Uh, yes, and I know my steer tire don't look all that great. We're gonna run it a couple weeks and then we're gonna buy two new, two, two new ones, uh, to go along with the matching, matching set of brand new beefy. Look at that. That and we've put a uh, sensor on, oil sending, oil pressure sensor. Uh, when I drove it the other day, uh, when we drove it home, it had oil pressure about 75, 80 pounds of oil pressure running down the road. About 40 sitting at idle while well, I cranked it up the next day and drove it into town. And just to be driving it, just to see, you know, how good it was. And, uh, the oil pressure decided to jump up to a hundred pounds of oil pressure setting it idle. And more than that running down the road. And I knew if there was, if the oil pressure was actually that damn high that they'd be oil coming out everywhere. I and mean, it wasn't. Uh, we put an oil sending, oil pressure unit, sending unit on it and it fixed it. So that was thankful. But yeah. I'm not going to show you the last one. Uh, I'm going to do one more. I know these videos are to be boring. I mean, I can if you want me to. Uh, matter of fact, I think I will. Just uh, we'll speed through it or something. All right. We'll be back in a second. All right. Let's get started on the second one then. Some may not think it's boring. Oh. I try. I don't know why I'm talking. Hopefully it's still recording. Hope you were still recording. Oh, yeah. Now, you see how well, how clear that is? 
Man, she looks good. Oh, that don't look clear. So I don't think I hit that with the one, the, the 400. May have and just didn't get enough. I mean, like I say, it ain't perfect job, but man, you look at that rim compared to that rim. I mean, it ain't all that bad. Oh, uh, I actually could probably buff that one and get it looking like that, but it's got nicks in it, like I said. So I sand them and get them to look like that. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, hit that like button, or uh, whatever else. Leave a comment below. Let me know if there's anything I should do differently or, or it's something I should use differently uh, or if you want more intel on it. Let me know. Till next time, we'll do another video.